Hi, I am Kristen and welcome to day 72 of my carnivore diet journey. Please make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, follow along and comment. I love to hear all of your comments. So today I had unexpected anxiety. So I probably have not had anxiety for over a month which has been amazing. I've had little spurts of feelings of a little bit of anxiousness, but not the anxiety that overwhelms me. And I feel like I'm on this roller coaster of a carnivore journey because I hear so many times you you only ever hear all of the good things, right? And when you go looking for videos, even with Dr. Ken Berry or other uh, people who are a little bit more of experts in the field or other doctors, they tell you, this is what you need to do. And I'm not feeling a hundred percent all of the things that everybody always says that they feel. So when you're going on the carnivore diet, if your goal is to lose weight and that is your only goal and you don't have any other issues with anxiety or fatigue and things like that, then you're not really noticing huge amount of difference, I feel, compared to somebody who is struggling with that. You might get more energy. You might um, you know, start shedding those pounds and that is amazing. But for me, my why and my goal was because of my anxiety, my depression, my bloatedness, my microscopic colitis, so many things on my list. And I do have to say that I have not felt the depression that I was feeling before I started the carnivore diet. There was times where I just would start crying in the car if I listened to a song that triggered my emotions. I would start crying in the shower where you're like alone and you have your thoughts to yourself. I would start crying and it was very hard. Depression is hard. And if you've never felt depressed a day in your life, then I am so happy for you because it is not something that you ever want to feel, not even one time. So I struggled with this. since my first baby so over eight years ago and it wasn't a consistent depression i struggled more with my anxiety and um irritability irritability <laughs> um when he was born but slowly i would get better and then some days I would get anxious and some days I didn't have depression for a long time. And then I had my second baby and it started again. And I got the depression and I got the anxiety and I would tell the doctor, I would tell my OBGYN in our follow-up visits and they would just push it off like it was normal after having a baby. But nobody ever said that let's figure this out. What can we do so that you're not depressed, so that you're, you're not anxious, so that you're not irritable all the time, triggered easily? And definitely nobody ever told me to change my nutrition and see if that helps. So fast forward to my third baby. My depression got really bad with him and I talk about it in my Instagram I talk about anxiety, but I really don't go into how I really felt. And it's something that is not easy to talk about because it's such an emotional roller coaster when you're in it. And I never want to feel that. And so being on the carnivore diet, I do have to say that I have not been depressed. And where I'm just like crying out of nowhere and where I feel just absolutely miserable, it has improved so much. But two of the things that have been a little bit of a roller coaster, one has been my fatigue, which I've talked to you a lot about, and I'm slowly realizing that I need to drink a lot more water and make sure that I have the right amount of salt in my diet with my electrolytes 
And I feel like that is definitely helping. When I got my period, I think that all the hormonal changes in your body can change what you need for that, you know, right before getting it and during. So I think I will definitely keep an eye on that in the future on whether I need to take an electrolyte supplement, make sure that I'm drinking even more water than usual. And what am I doing to make sure that I don't feel that fatigue that I felt because it was really bad. Um, I'm getting my energy back. But today, out of nowhere, I was headed to my son's therapy and I felt anxiety. And I feel it here in the chest. And I have to take a deep breath in and out. It's kind of like my release of that anxiety. And so I got on a quick short video for you guys because I wanted to document the moment of me feeling anxious. And I did a quick less than a minute video just saying how I don't know where it's coming from. Um, I got a comment, am I eating or drinking anything different? And I'm not, I don't, um, I don't really deviate from my normal meals. I pretty much almost make the same thing. I might switch up the way I cook the meat. Um, we did like taco night last Thursday, but it was still meat, very little seasoning. And that was Thursday. We're on Tuesday. So definitely not something that I would think that that would relate to. Um, Saturday went out to dinner and had seafood. I did have an unsweetened tea, which I've had before in the past, and it didn't cause me anxiety. Um, the only thing that now talking out loud to you is that I had a decaf coffee, but I didn't even have that last night. Actually, my husband made one for himself, and I had the smallest sip just to taste it, and I really didn't want any. And so I don't think it's that. But I'm definitely just noting it all down because it is very strange and very frustrating to feel anxiety when I was doing so well, not feeling this way. And it kind of went away as I was getting to the place and I was fine while I was there. No anxiety. I was good. Got home, started doing things, got a little work done and I got really, really hungry and I started making my breakfast and I got really anxious again. like what's going on, right? So I don't know if it was just that I was really hungry. Um, I know that people say they get hangry. It's a thing, <laughs> I swear it's a thing. I, when I am hungry, I need to eat. And I have noticed in the past, it kind of almost made me remember how I felt in the past when I would get really hungry that I would get like a little anxious. And so I don't know if it was that, but I still kind of feel a little anxious right now. So what can I do to get rid of this anxiety? Is carnivore really the key? Is carnivore the answer to getting rid of depression and anxiety? The one thing on my journey that I can say is that I definitely have not been feeling depressed and that is a huge, huge plus for me. Um, I cannot say that it's taken my anxiety away completely, but in the last over 30 days, I was not feeling the anxiety that I felt today. And I just have to keep an eye on it and see what happens. Um, somebody made a comment that they've noticed that sometimes being carnivore for a good amount of time that their bodies start to kind of just reject and need extra carbs. I don't know how true that is. I don't know if anybody has felt that way. I would love to hear comments if you have, if you've transitioned from carnivore to maybe ketovore or to animal based. Um, I'm definitely thinking of going more animal based and maybe testing that out and seeing maybe my body needs like fruit and certain vegetables. Um, I would not say a lot of vegetable greens, like I will, probably will not do a broccoli or a cauliflower, but I know that some animal based um, diets include I want to say zucchini and maybe spaghetti squash I have to do a little bit more research on that and seeing what I can eat animal based um, avocados which I love um, 
So just taking it day by day, one day at a time, one step forward and hoping that I'm not going two steps back. But I wanted to share today with you that sometimes a diet or whatever journey you're on is not always crystal clear and it's not always going to be a straight line. But that doesn't mean that you need to give up. You need to figure out what is going on. And that's what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to continue and I will be back in here tomorrow letting you know how it goes. And hopefully I will get no more anxiety today. I will say the one thing that changed today was that with this time change, I was very tired and decided to sleep in a little bit, got up, got the kids their breakfast, got them ready and went and laid back down and went to sleep for a little longer till the baby woke me up. And I did not, I decided to take a rest day on my workout. So I did not work out today. And I'm wondering how much of an effect does exercise really have on your body with anxiety? And I know that it does help because when I used to have a lot of anxiety and depression, my workouts are what have gotten me through a lot of this hard time in the last um, five years that I started working out. And so maybe later I'll push play and do a little quick workout or maybe I'll do a quick little five minute meditation, but I need to clear my mind and I need to figure out Is it that or is it something that I ate? So I'm going to go back and I'm going to look at my trustworthy journey journey, (laughs) journal and see what maybe I may have done differently, but I'm pretty sure that it's all the same. So I hope that you're doing better on your carnivore journey or whatever journey that you are on right now in your life. I would love to hear about it would love to hear your why and why you started your journey if you're thinking about doing the carnivore diet and your why and if you have any questions please comment 